One of the things we can do with a Forms Pro survey is we can embed it into a website. So we're looking at a survey here. If I go ahead and click on Send Survey, one of the options is to embed. So if I click on that, we've got um, three different ways in which we can embed the survey into a, a website. Um, we're going to look at the inline option for this video. So if I have inline, that's the one that's selected. Um, we're going to ignore the parameters for the moment. We're just going to go ahead ahead and we're going to click on generate code and what that does is it gives us some code to copy and then paste into a web page. So I'm going to go ahead and click the copy button and that's copied to my clipboard. I'm going to go to my website to a, uh, just an example page that I've got and I'm just going to go ahead and paste the code. So we can see there we've got um, a link to the um, to the actual survey itself, um, we've got some some different code that's been generated. We're just going to go ahead and update it. All right, so now that page has been updated, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to view the page. We'll just go ahead and wait for that to refresh. Okay, there's nothing on it. All right, so what? what do we need to do next? Why is there nothing on it? So when I first started looking at this, I thought, right, it's given me the code. I can just copy and paste it. However, doing a little bit of searching online and going to the um, the documentation from Microsoft for Forms Pro, we've got embed survey into a, in a web page. If we scroll down, it gives us um, the same steps that we, we just did. So we basically generated the, com the code and it said the embed code is generated as per the selected option. Um, copy it and then paste the embed code into a web page. What it then says, which it doesn't say in Forms Pro unfortunately, it says you must then update the web page's source code to render the survey on the web page. All right, so if we scroll down a little bit further, it then says you must, oh, sorry, you created a div container with the ID survey div on the web page where you want to display the survey. Okay, well, it doesn't say that on Forms Pro. So how do we go about doing that? So it's fairly straightforward. So what we're going to do is um, a div is basically a way in which to create a section that says from here on do this. So what we need to do is basically have a section that says from here on go ahead and actually display the survey. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I will add in um, a div and that's where we're going to go ahead and display it. So it does give us an example script that we can basically put inside that div and that's what we're going to go ahead and use to display it. So if I go back to our uh, web page example and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paste in a little bit further down underneath the code that is given to you from Forms Pro when you generate that code, it's now got a div the ID is survey div, and this is what it told us here to basically create a div with a container survey div. And now what we're doing is we're saying, all right, there's the start of that div and there's that script that it gave as an example. And it's basically saying load the survey. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and close that div. So I'm going to go ahead and update this. and we'll go ahead and we will look at the page again. And now, okay, great. Now, this doesn't look good either, does it? So all we've got is we've got an indication that there's something from Microsoft Forms that is going to load, but we don't see the survey. So. That means we need to go ahead and do something to the div and change the size of it so that we can actually see uh, either the full survey or at least part of it to where then we've got the ability to scroll down. So if I go back to this code again and let's go ahead and paste in. All right, so what we've added here is in this section here, we've got that div but then we're going to give a style to that and I'm just going to start with a height of 800 pixels um, to basically show a, um, a larger surface area for that div. So let's go ahead and refresh. All right, 
now we can actually see our survey so we can see there we've got a scroll bar so we can scroll on down so depending on the size of your survey um, you are probably going to be unlikely to to, to get the um, full size based on pixels uh, you also might want to consider how large of a survey you would want to actually embed within a website so I can see for something quite small maybe it's just one or two questions um, that would fit in nicely um, but as you can see it's not all that intuitive to, to get started okay so that's it now you can see that's how you would embed a survey into a web page not intuitive and also um, maybe not looking that good. Um, also again consider um, the size of your survey and also the colour scheme that you've used if you've got a background image so the theme in general um, how would you want it to be displayed on a web page but that is how you can do it. Um, if you go to meganvwalker.com and search for the related blog post about embedding your surveys into your website you'll be able to copy and paste and see the, the code that was used um, or at least the, the div part that you would add to the bottom of the um, survey code that you generate. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.